Good morning. Welcome to the monthly book review here at the West End Library in Laurelton, Pennsylvania. I'm going to be reviewing an author that I had reviewed in November of 2020, David Rosenfeld. I thoroughly enjoy reading the Andy Carpenter series by David Rosenfeld and wanted to review his latest release entitled Holy Chow. As usual, dogs are ever present in the Andrew Carpenter series of books and being a dog lover and myself having been involved in dog rescue in the past, his portrayal of a dog rescue facility and the fact that the author does in fact rescue dogs makes David Rosenfeld's work a winner with me. There are other series by David Rosenfeld, but his Andy Carpenter series in my mind is the best. And I always find something amusing in reading his books. Andy Carpenter is a self-retired lawyer, at least that's how he sees himself, due to his having inherited a great amount of money from his father, which is pursued in his first book in the series, Open and Shut. An individual who had adopted a rescue dog from the Tara Foundation the previous year contacts Andy Carpenter about his being able to find a home for her chow named Lion if something were to happen to her. The individual who rescued Lion is in her 60s and Lion is also an older dog. Of course, Andy said he would look after Lion and find him a new home if needed. Andy thinks little of this request and feels it will be some time before he has cause to care for Lion. And Andy is called to the reading of a will and finds out that Rachel, the woman who had adopted uh, Lion, <coughs> had passed away and is hoping that her nephew, Tony, will be taking possession of Lion. At the reading of Rachel's will, Andy does find out that Rachel had left a sizable donation to the Tara Foundation, and while at the reading, Tony is taken into police custody. Apparently, what had seemed as a natural cause of death has been determined to be murder, and because her nephew had been staying at her home, he is the most likely suspect. In addition, when the coroner discovers what chemical caused Rachel's heart attack, traces of the chemical were found, were found in Tony's car and bedroom. So naturally, he becomes the first and most suspicious person to be suspected of Rachel's death. Also unveiled at the reading of the will was the fact that Rachel was a very wealthy woman. woman. Because Andy does not need to work nor want to work as a lawyer, he is always being drugged back into representing someone. He agrees to defend Tony in trial and begins the process of discovering evidence to prove, to prove Tony's innocence. Along with proving Tony's innocence, Andy unveils that things were not so perfect at the company that Rachel's deceased husband had run, and she had been concerned about some mismanagement and possibly illegal practices taking place. In the Andrew Carpenter series, the characters are always enjoyable and the witty bantering back and forth between the characters is always a joy. <clears throat> Please take the time if you like murder mysteries with a fun atmosphere to them to give David Rosenfeld's Andy Carpenter series a try.